In this video, I'm going to walk you through something that many people struggle with when they are first trying to learn to be nav, and that is roll balls. First of all, I'm going to simplify down how roll balls work into two different steps. And then I'm going to show you how you can practice your whirlpool techniques without having to worry about b-naving at the same time. And then I'm going to finish off by showing you how you can build up a library of patterns in your head to help you think through whirlpools much faster. The first thing that a whirlpool would always do is take you to the opposite square. So here you can see we've got the four positions that your ship can be in a whirlpool as represented by these red dots. All that a whirlpool does is it takes you to the opposite square in that whirlpool. So here in the top left we go from the top left square to the bottom right square then on the next turn we would go back to the top left square to the bottom right square back again and you'll keep going like so similarly you'll go from the top right square to the bottom left back to the top right and you will keep alternating between these squares the other thing that a whirlpool will do is it will twirl you around to the right. So if you can imagine in your head you're turning right in a car or you're just turning right around the corner just imagine the different way that you're going to be facing. So what happens is you turn 90 degrees to the right. So as you can see here in these pictures We've got the ship facing upwards to begin with, and then it faces to the right, then it faces down, then it faces to the left, and then it faces up again. The most important thing to do with whirlpools is to practice just with whirlpools. If you're trying to worry about figuring out a whirlpool for the first time and trying to be nav and worry about your crew then you are not going to do very well and it will take you quite some time to pick it up so here I'm going to show you one of the first things I ever made on my original website and here we go this is one of my first preludes to the blockade simulator yeah, this is how it all started. I believe this might be a bit buggy, but we can get the general idea from this. So, I'm going to take a left and plop it into the moves. I'm going to execute it. And first we'll see how the ship goes one square. It's just going between opposite squares. If I execute it again, look it's just going between those two squares back and forth. Now if you look at the rotation of the ship you'll see right now it's pointing to left then up to the right down to the left again. Let's see that again back to the left up to the right down and then back to the left again. If I go to the opposite square and again, we will see that it goes between the two different corners of the whirlpool. You can also see how the rotation is much the same as before. Okay, 